when I think about improvising, I think about years ago when I first started playing lead guitar and, you know, I've, I've been into all kinds of music through the years, but let's just say as far as classic rock songs, you know, and stuff, there's one thing when you're trying to learn the solo, you know, note for note and trying to play everything exactly just like it is off the record, you know, or back in the day for me, like off the cassette tape <laughs> or the CD or whatever. But improvising is something I'm, I really did more of because I really didn't try to to hit, you know, solos note for note. I wrote a lot of my own stuff and, you know, I would create my own solos and things like that. But as far as cover songs and songs that I played, you know, I really didn't do a whole lot of just, you know, trying to learn note for note, you know, whatever that took, whichever song it was, didn't matter. Instead, I just tried to get in the ballpark and just try to really use my ear and use there again, the scales that I already know and whatever it is, whether it's just the blue scale or whatever it is, and just try to kind of use my ear and try to hit on really the signature parts of the song. So it wouldn't matter what song it is or, or what band or whatever, but just any, any anything you can think of, um, I'm trying to hit those signature licks. I'm trying to really hear those main uh, parts of the solo that people are going to say, yeah, I get it. I, I, I know exactly that's, that solo sounds right. So if I'm playing in a band, playing live or something like that, you know, I can, I can kind of work through whatever it is, you know, to where people say, hey, yeah, that's, that solo is pretty good. But I know for a fact it's not no for no. It's not exactly like the artist, the guitar player played it. So that's kind of the way I look at it. And then in, in, in these times with YouTube and all that, there's a million guitar backing tracks so not only can you play the backing tracks that are just, you know, just chord progressions, they're not really songs and you can do all the improvising you want because all that is, is improvising because there is no song. You're not really going off a solo that has been created by some artist that's famous and all that kind of stuff. So to me, that's kind of what um, improvising is all about. And again, you know, I had a band, a uh, classic rock band, you know, right before COVID you know, for three or four or five years. And, and at that time, I really did try to learn some of the songs that we were doing, the solos. I tried to get them, you know, note for note. I really worked hard on trying to really nail down as much as I could. But still there again, I never even wanted to, for, for it to be perfect. And I was still just trying to hit those signature licks. A really good example of that, and we didn't do this song live, um, but I played this song for years. I used to think that the ending solo to Hotel California by the Eagles was just a jam. All it was was just improvising, was just playing whatever, and they just, you know, they just they just rocked out. You know what I mean? And it wasn't until seven or eight years ago or so that I really started understanding that that's really a specific solo. And 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 I and I did try to learn that song or solo note for note. Not that it's perfect or anything, but try to get as close as I could. But that's just an example of years I played that song and didn't really care. And then all of a sudden I tried to start learning the solo more note for note. And, and that's kind of the difference. You know, I always thought it was just an improvising, you know, solo, but really it's a specific solo that once you got it down, it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. 